and watching the weather really close. Get at the marina and relax. And now it's Thursday morning and we are prepping the boat to go. We've got one more official that we need to see to check out of the country. And then in the light winds, we are gonna move from the marina over to the anchorage by Samana, which is just right over this way. And uh, that way, when we're leaving and the winds are a little higher, we won't have to deal with, you know, getting out of the marina. We'll just be able to pick up the anchor and take off. So uh, we should be getting underway here in not too much longer. All right, well, that was short-lived. We uh, got out about a half mile away from the marina and our transmission went out. So we turned around, drifted back towards the marina, dropped the anchor, then a guy from the marina came and towed us back in. And now we've got a mechanic down here working on the engine. I think he's going to take the transmission off and take it back to his shop. Wow, this is, uh, I'm so glad that that happened while we were still close to the marina and not in the middle of the night when we were trying to get towards the Mona Passage. So, well, I guess this is cruising. We'll see what happens next. How you doing, Lindy? Lindy's taking it better than me, I think. Just stopping the internet to pass the time. Okay, they've drug us back to our slip now. The mechanic's been working the whole time. And there's our transmission. He's taken it off. He's still down there doing some stuff in the engine compartment. And he handed me these things just a minute ago, which I'm assuming is what broke. I don't really know too much about transmissions, but I guess he's going to get it fixed. We don't really know what we're going to do next. I'm pretty frazzled by all this, and I'm not ready to just go cross the Mona Passage. So I guess we'll have to see. Once everybody leaves, me and Lindy need to sit down and take a minute and see what's next. All right. It's a few days later, <laughs> and here they are. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that thing. It looks brand new. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. So he's down there putting the transmission back on. Pretty cool. Looks brand new. Uh, it's been a tough few days here on holiday. I've went through the whole range of emotions. I don't know, just being nervous to take the boat back out. Uh, started to feel a little bit better and now of course seeing the new transmission makes me feel good. But still got to figure out what to do next. We can keep the boat here through uh, hurricane season or, or just go to Puerto Rico or uh, continue on and so we'll be figuring that out after we get the transmission back installed and we feel comfortable that the engine is fixed. In the meantime we're just sitting around hanging out while these guys work on the old engine. Wow the whole back of the engine just came off. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Guess it's going to be all good when they finally get done. And another big piece just came off. They're like pulling the whole back of the engine off. And I think what he just told me is that he's found where one of my nuisance oil leaks is and he's going to pull it apart and get new gaskets there. So, man, this is going to be great in the end. I'll be glad when it's done. <laughs> the big question is, how much is all this going to cost us? We shall see. Oh, okay. They need me. <laughs> and it continues. So today they've been working on cleaning the engine area. I think they're even going to repaint some of the areas where uh, 
could use a little paint and they're working on gasket material and all kinds of different stuff that keep coming and going and uh, I don't know let's go have a look at what they've done because I haven't been back here lately to see down in the engine compartment okay well it looks looks really good back here so there we can see that's just the back of the engine. I mean, all those big pieces that were laying out on the dock, that's where they removed them from. That's the main spinning thing right there. Here's where the shaft is. It's usually connected to the transmission, which is gone. Wow, it's crazy seeing it like this. Here's the starting motor just laying over here. Wow. Yeah, interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> I guess they'll be done in a couple of days. We'll see. Oh. Uh-huh. 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 Nice. Todo bien, poco a poco. Sí. Mira, ese primero paso ahorita, no te lo pira. Mira el trollito, todos los otros. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. A ver, ahí están los cinco. El sello y este. Ok. Ok, it's day number, I don't know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of the diesel expedition. And they're back at work. The transmission's back on. Everything ran perfectly with that. You didn't think the engine sounded all that great, although it sounded just like it always has to us. So he's removing our injectors and going to clean them out. <laughs> Luis up here. All right. He's down here cleaning out the places that the injectors go into. It's the same day and they're back with the injectors. I didn't get a picture of them beforehand, but I can tell you they looked nasty. And now they're very clean. So, I guess they're about to put them back in. We shall see. Attempt number two at crossing the Mona Passage is about to start. Uh, we're gonna leave the dock again, head over to our staging anchorage. Hopefully everything goes smooth. The mechanics got all finished and uh, everything's, uh, everything's good. We got the engine going. And we're gonna be keeping a close eye on her as, uh, as we take off, so. But everything looks just right. All right, here we go. Okay, cool. And we're on the move. Fingers crossed. Sound good so far. <laughs> Goodbye, Samana. It's been a nice place. Been here three weeks or more. We're just going to stage right out here at Cayo Levantando. It's only about a few miles away. We'll just drop the anchor and wait for the nighttime winds to slack off and take off to Puerto Rico. What do you think, Lindy? You ready for it? I think so. I think that I am ready to. Come on, Holiday, get us there. All right, it's the next morning. We decided to wait that the weather would be better uh, today for leaving than yesterday. So uh, it's early and we're just waking up. Uh, still be quite a few hours before we get underway, but it's a really calm, peaceful morning out here at Anchor. We've got the engine started and it's about time to leave. Uh, there's four other boats that are going to be crossing at the same time, so we'll have some company out there. And uh, in just a second here, we're going to up anchor and get moving. Here we go. It's about time.
just uh, about a half hour, 45 minutes out. And the wind moved around enough where at least we could put the mainsail up. It's not doing too much good for us, but probably speeding us up just a hair. We're moving along. Everything's going great so far. Well, the wind's directly on our nose now, and uh, we took the mainsail down, but uh, we're most of the way across the mouth of Samana Bay, and then we'll be going down the east coast of the Dominican for most of the evening until we turn off across the Mona. You can see over here, it's like misty covered mountains. It's kind of cloudy right now. There's been some, uh, we've seen some rain around, but you know, in front of us looks clear enough, so hopefully we won't have too many squalls, but uh, that's the current situation. Apparently Holiday is the slowest boat in the flotilla when we're going dead into the wind. These first two guys are pulling away a little. Here, here comes another boat. Then we got a catamaran right back here. We get a little bit of sailing wind though. I bet Holiday is the fastest boat, so we'll see. That may just be wishful thinking though. <laughs> With our recently repaired diesel engine, I was super nervous about having more trouble during this crossing. Even though we trusted our mechanic and the repair went great, my faith in our nearly 40-year-old diesel engine had been shaken. Similar to our passages along the north coast of the Dominican Republic, the wind here always is blowing from the east, ruling out sailing as a good way to get across the Mona Passage quickly. Honestly, all this motoring from the Turks and Caicos through the Dominican Republic and on to Puerto Rico has been one of my least favorite parts of cruising altogether. We've been out seven hours now and we're starting to angle away from the Dominican Republic and head out into the Mona Passage. So here we go, it's 6.30 now. We've got, uh, you know, hour or so more of daylight and it'll get dark we're here still with Bacchus just ahead of us and Annabella just ahead of them so uh, moving along things are going well so far we've been motor sailing a lot so it's helping us make good time there are some storms out there we've seen on the radar but nothing that looks too serious but uh, yeah, not a lot we can do about it at this point. It may get rained on, might bring the wind up a little bit. We'll see. Yeah, there goes the sunset. Looks nice. We've both expressed to each other that we're kind of nervous about this night passage, but as we usually are. But we'll just do it and then it'll be over with. <laughs> Always a plus. Okay, it's 11.30 at night. We've been out here for 12 hours now. We're out in the Mona Passage and things are still going pretty good. So we're just uh, motor sailing along. It's uh, not a bad night so far. Got Lindy over here. <laughs> taking a nap. I guess she's still a little bit awake. <laughs> and you can see out here it's a little choppy. We're bouncing around a little but all in all not too bad. It's morning time now. Uh, through the night was a whole lot of just the same, you know. Motor sailing just forever. And uh, now it's about 6.30 in the morning. So uh, we've been out here 19 hours. So uh, we've got, you know, somewhere between five and eight more to go. And then we'll, uh, we'll be there. We're getting close. It's nice when the sky finally lightens up and darkness goes away. That looks pretty over there. Lindy's been holding down the fort. I just got up from sleeping. Puerto Rico's off that direction.
we've been out just at 24 hours now. We're getting close. We're very tired. Just a couple hours more. Lindy's giving me a little break. She's watching out back here. And we keep on getting closer and closer to Puerto Real. Oh, I can't wait to get there. So we're about seven miles out now, and of course, the wind went from nothing to going 16 to 20 apparent on the nose. We're bouncing all around and it slowed us down. Trying to keep us from getting to Puerto Rico, but we will eventually get there. Just a minute ago, it was like just super, super smooth with very little wind. <laughs> Only about 20 more minutes. We're making our approach and the seas have died down, which is nice. There's some storm clouds up ahead. It would be just our luck to get rained on right here at the end, but hopefully not. <laughs> but need to get a wash at this point anyway. That's true. Maybe it'll let us get anchored first though. So this, I uh, guess, up here is Puerto Real. We're about to get our first glimpse of Puerto Rico from the decks of Holiday. Here we come in the channel, and it's starting to sprinkle. Knowing that we had made it across the sometimes treacherous Mona Passage had us feeling great. The rare forecast of light winds and low seas had held true. But for the entire 24 plus hours, I never felt completely comfortable as I listened to the diesel engine waiting for it to have a problem. I'm really not sure how long it will be until I get back the level of trust in the diesel that I had before. Yet here we were pulling into Puerto Real, Puerto Rico. We were ready to start some adventures in this new country and we were excited to be back in a U.S. territory after four months or so in foreign countries. Oh my gosh, the anchor is going down. That was a long passage. There's Annabella, they made it too. Hey, hey! All right. We made it. Wow, what a passage. That was uh, 26 hours. Oh my gosh, I thought it would never end. 